Hi, it's me again, Brittany Bathgate, and you are watching the Capsule Wardrobe Lessons, the place to learn the basic rules on how to build a capsule wardrobe. Before we get started with this chapter, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you can keep up to date with all of the new lessons. What do cotton, poplin and linen all have in common? Well, they can often be found in the composition of shirts. In this episode, we'll be talking through a key item that can be found in a seasonless wardrobe. Did you know the shirt first appeared in the 17th century worn as a type of undergarment for European dress? By the 1920s, the shirt had broken down class and gender boundaries with a more relaxed and contemporary take on women's wear. The item gained serious traction in the 1940s, worn by several influential women, such as Catherine Hepburn, Ava Gardner, Marlene Dietrich, and Lauren Bacall. It wasn't until a bit later on that it started to gain a bit more of an androgynous reputation, worn by icons such as Patti Smith, Diane Keaton, and of course gained the reputation of the timeless and multi-purpose garment that it still is today. The solution to wanting to feel stylish, polished and comfortable is a well-cut shirt. My personal tip is to have a shirt in white, blue and a colour of your preference and in a relaxed fit because in the long run this will prove to be easier to style and much more versatile. I have the challenge today to show you how adaptable the shirt is by creating three day to night looks. Getting dressed for the office doesn't always have to be boring. For my first look, I'm going to be focusing on the blue striped shirt. So I've paired this very relaxed fitting shirt with some cream leather look trousers. And then I'm going to add a structured bag to carry everything I need for the day. Something that I do like to carry around with me is a pair of statement earrings in case of any unexpected after work events. Also carrying like a small clutch bag is also a great tip. Book. Um, makeup, blogging camera, all the things I need for the day. So how am I going to take this shirt from day to night and feel like I'm dressed to impress? Let's say I've got an impromptu dinner after work and I want to feel a little bit fancy. Tuck the shirt in and I've unbuttoned a few buttons, added the statement earring and the small clutch and of course swap out my flats for a heel. Imagine it's late spring. I'm going to be spending the day in the city, full day doing press days and meetings. So when I'm putting my outfit together, my priority is comfort, practicality, and of course, I would like to look chic if possible. So I'm going to start with a really simple foundation of a white tank top with some relaxed blue denim. And then I'm going to use the white shirt as a layering piece. I'm also going to add, I'll add sunglasses. And then, picked a rather large practical tote so I can chuck everything I need in for the day inside. The white shirt acts as a great layering piece for any sort of sporadic cooler weather that we might have. However, what happens if my day is slightly longer than I anticipated? So it turns out some friends want to go for a casual catch up and food after work. So for the evening, I'm going to make the shirt the hero by buttoning up the top button. I'm going to leave the very bottom of it open. And then weather dependent, I will layer a, a smart long black coat over the top. And then a smaller bag. And never underestimate the power of keeping a pair of bold earrings in your handbag because you don't know when you need to shine. For my third and final look, I will be styling the black shirt for a spring morning in the city. Spring can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming getting dressed wise because I've been wearing a coat for so long, I almost forget how to get dressed again. So very typical outfit of a spring morning. I would start with a very neutral base and add some black accents. So I'm gonna start with a graphic scarf that I will tie around my neck like so. And then I will add another neutral element of this suede handbag. If I wanted to replicate this palette but for the evening, I would stick with the black shirt still, but I'd remove the graphic scarf and replace it with a black 
turtleneck layered underneath the shirt. And then I'd swap out the trousers for these, taking inspiration from sort of like late 90s menswear tailoring, think Julia Roberts, Winona Ryder, create some really interesting volumes by tucking the shirt into the trousers. You've got this really nice like fold over um, detail here, really big voluminous loose shape. And then on my feet, these really simple black boots with a round toe and not forgetting a little accent of gold around the neck. Now come with me to enjoy the sunny March weather. After this very long winter, I'm certainly in need of some vitamin D. enjoyed this lesson dedicated to shirts can you guess which garment our next chapter is about stay tuned by subscribing to our channel to make sure you don't miss it